A new earthquake concern tonight along our coast. Researchers took a closer look at a fault system running through Palos Verdes. They say it's capable of triggering a catastrophic earthquake. KKL 9's Lauren Posen spoke with the one and only Dr. Lucy Jones to break down the research. Lauren. Well, Pat, let me tell you, I learned a lot more than I thought I knew about earthquakes today after speaking with Dr. Jones. So this Palos Verdes fault, that's not new. But these Harvard scientists found something new about it they say could potentially cause the big one to strike. Underneath the stillness and beauty of the Palos Verdes Peninsula is a fault zone. It's mostly underwater and goes directly under the peninsula into some highly populated areas of the South Bay, like Rancho Palos Verdes, Rolling Hills Estates, but also through Long Beach and Los Angeles harbors. Living near the fault, there's always that potential for an earthquake. I'm glad I live here instead of Florida. You know, they have hurricanes and things like that, and Texas tornadoes. I can deal with this. Scientists believe the fault is made up of a segmented network of faults, but a new study from Harvard University suggests they're interconnected and could produce a magnitude 7.8 earthquake. That's much more destructive and deadly than the 1994 6.7 Northridge earthquake. What this study did was say, we think these multiple strands can add up like they were individual strands and make it really long, and it's the length of the fault that determines how big a magnitude can be. Seismologist Dr. Lucy Jones says this is just a study and shouldn't change the way you think about earthquakes. It's not in the hazard map. This is two scientists that have said, we think this is the way it works. Jones says another thing to consider is the Palos Verdes fault slip rate, or how fast the two sides of a fault are slipping relative to one another. So if it does have these really big earthquakes, they're really quite infrequent. And this study didn't narrow down that slip rate at all. One to six millimeters is a pretty big range. Those who live near Palos Verdes Fault say the potential for the big one is just part of living in California. We're always going to eventually experience that. So we just need to be prepared. So the USGS will review the study and its findings when it goes to update its hazard maps in 2025 and decide whether or not to include what was found in this study in those maps. And those maps really point out uh, dangerous areas like earthquake zones, volcanoes, and landslides, and they're updated every six years. That's why we're waiting for 2025. Reporting live in Rolling Hills, Lauren Posen, KCAL 9 News. All right, Lauren, thank you. Always a reminder to, to be prepared as mm -hmm. much no as doubt. you can. Mm -hmm.